Okay guys, uh, this might be one of the last uh, vlogs I'm going to be doing because I uh, just noticed my battery uh, it's at least halfway now so how much longer it'll last I'm not too sure so anyway I'll try and do a couple more but uh, we'll see how it goes I guess so look at this thing eh now this definitely is like a pagoda in it or whatever um, yeah, interesting, you see? Look, it's like this little Japanese garden thing, so again, I'm assuming it's Japanese. Uh, you know, where they rake the... Uh, well, it's usually sort of sand, in it? But this is obviously like gravel. Uh, but I think it can be either, can't it, really? Uh, I love that little sort of bit there, look. You see the way it looks like a, as if there must... Or might have been a waterfall or something, do you know what I mean? Can you see that? I love that, that's so cool. I just imagine water um, draining down it like, you know what I mean? Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. Actually, do you know, this is also making me think that I wouldn't mind actually uh, traipsing into the countryside at some point. And look, there's the uh, the tower thing, by the way. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind, oof, my hand stuck uh, in the strap of the camera. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, just looking at that little bit there, reminding me of back home. Uh, we've got a place, uh, Saddleworth Moor, uh, and, uh, uh I forgot, a uh, place called Greenfield, uh, and it's all the moors, you know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, I used to go up there a lot when I was a kid, uh, and, uh, God, I don't know, I can't remember the last time I was up there. Um, but it's, it's quite a mountainous sort of area sort of thing and you've got like lakes uh, well the reservoirs really but you know sort of like uh, and, and it's just absolutely gorgeous I love it up there it's absolutely beautiful uh, and you're right up in the hills you're right you know it's, it's really sort of mountain well it's not quite mountain mountains but you know uh, they, they're really big uh, anyway the thing is that like I say I was just looking at that then it reminded me of some of the sort of channels and rock formations that you get up there uh, and uh, it just made me think because I've been planning on going back home just for a couple of days so I might just do that you know I might actually I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back home for a couple of days and I think what I'll do is I'll head to uh, Greenfields and I'll take you up there and show you where I used to go when I was a kid uh, it's absolutely beautiful and this time of year it'll be it'll be absolutely stunning right so anyway let's uh, have a closer look at this uh, pagoda thing shall we there's a little garden area uh, and this is where those rocks start going down that little slope thing so look at this look this is quite amazing isn't it wow this is pretty cool uh, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese I I must admit, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, oh, I love that dragon there. Look at that dragon. Oh, wow. Hang on, sorry, let me turn the screen. Can't see what I'm doing. Look at that dragon there. Oh, man, I love dragons. That's another thing of me. I love dragons, I do. Absolutely love dragons. Uh, I don't know why. I've just always been fascinated and just love dragons and stories about dragons. and. There's loads of them on there, there's a few of them on there, look. Hang on, sorry, I'm trying to... where's the other one? And there's another one, look. I'm trying to work out how... how much in focus this is at times, because... Uh, it seemed... it wasn't, didn't look all that sharp then, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, look, look at this, I love this. The carving on this is incredible. Oh, I've just noticed people are throwing pennies on it and stuff. Yeah. Must be some sort of, like a wishing well, well, uh, maybe a Japanese version of a wishing well there. Eh? Uh, obviously, presumably, it means good luck or something. Uh, I have no idea, but can you see that? Look, there's like pennies and, well, I'll say most of them look like pennies because they look copper, most of them. So, you know, our pennies uh, in our country are, are copper. Well, copper coloured. I don't know if they actually use copper in them or not, to be quite honest. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. So, look, and there's some more on this side as well. 
So it must be some sort of tradition or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh look, there's a little plaque thing there that'll give us information on it. Look, you see, look, we've got these things here. These are amazing. I love carvings. I love wood carving. Uh, and these these are obviously done to a really high standard. Oh look, oh, that's a bit of a shame. Look, the pigeons have got up there and pooed all over it. Oh no. Uh, that kind of spoils it a bit, doesn't it? Because their, their poo is very corrosive. You know, and it's actually got some har very harmful things in it apparently. Uh, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I've heard. And then when there's certain areas where they have to clean that stuff up, uh, they have to wear like almost hazmat suits. Well, I don't know if it's complete hazmat suits, but they certainly have to wear sort of breathing gear and things to clean it because it's supposed to be quite harmful. Uh, anyway, oh, it's, I think it's Chinese, not. Ja oh, hang on, hang on, Imperial Messenger. Uh, I can't pronounce that so I'm not even going to try uh, what I'll do is I'll focus on it a little bit and you guys can read it because yeah it is Japanese I thought it was well I wasn't absolutely certain but because of that sort of other thing that towery thing in conjunction with this because that towery thing is just literally over there uh, I can see the corner of it peeping out behind that tree so anyway I don't know how long to and how quick you guys and whether you can see that presumably you can read it although on the small screen obviously it's difficult for me to judge just exactly whether or not you can read that or not well I've just noticed as well when I'm using the zoom that's using up quite a bit of battery um, got the airplane going over again anyway so yeah uh, I'll read this back myself actually as well because and just for the any Chinese uh, viewers, although I have no idea if I've got Chinese viewers, there it is in Chinese. Uh, sorry, Japanese even. Sorry, beg your pardon. Oh dear. Right. Okay. Right. So. Okay. So this is quite gorgeous. It's really nice. Beautiful uh, thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I've noticed, like I say, my battery looks as though it's, it looks dead. It looks like there's no juice left at all. Oh, you know what, that's another thing. Maybe I should start bringing my charger with me and then find some outlet somewhere I can recharge. Or maybe buy a spare battery. I wonder if that's possible. I wonder if I can get a spare battery for this. And then I can always change the battery if I need to. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop filming here for now. Uh, hopefully I've got enough power just to do one more. Uh, maybe not. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye for now.